Hi, this is David Lowry, Bennett Motor Express. With the help of Mr. JT here, we're going to show you the operating system of the LCS load covering system on our 48 foot Dorsey drop deck. So, all right, so first off, we have to do is unstrap the flaps here to hold the, uh, the covering for the, uh, the load covering system. And we do that on both sides. Thanks, JT. All right, next thing we do is we get the handle out to roll up the rear tarp. That's held in by a lock and pulls out of that slot. Step three here is undo the rear curtain. This has six straps on it. They're held on with tension. Flip the retaining bars back. You insert the rod. And just roll it up. Flip it up over the top and just let the handle hang out of the way. All right, the next step is you pull the crank handle out of the holder and insert it on the locks. You'll turn these all the way until the retaining lug is released on each side. And that's basically releasing the tension on the curtain. You'll see that lug flips up and out of the way. And that's an indicator that that side is ready to roll. With that, just lay your rod or your crank handle uh, out of the way and you start the process of rolling the curtain. Now sometimes they'll get hung up a little bit and uh, just have to work them, but once they're freed up, they're pretty simple to roll. Once we get to uh, this point here, all right, so you make sure that these paddles fit inside these rollers on each side, and there's a locking mechanism here that you just make sure they lock in place. And you do that on each side. Okay. And then you can come on back and you can finish rolling the curtain up and out of the way, ready for the customer's load. So you see here now we have a, uh, a clear bottom deck to load our cargo on. All right, now we're going to go ahead and roll this curtain back and we're going to unlatch it from the front and roll it back. So we'll show you how to uh, how you can load cargo on the top deck also. So you can actually have the curtain locked in the back, unlock the front and roll it all the way back. But in this case, we're gonna show you how to just roll it all together, okay?
Okay, with this scenario, there's an airlock located right up underneath the headboard here. We're basically pulling it and that unlocks the front curtain. Now we got it all. So and we're basically showing you here that one person can do this if you have a helper or somebody to help you it does make it a little bit easier on both sides but one person can operate this system so basically at this point depending on your cargo that you're loading on it uh, now you can load the top deck and you can load a good portion of the bottom deck all these curtain manufacturers require about 10 foot of curtain that's you've got to move the curtain out of the way to get that get that part of the deck loaded so it's a pretty simple operation all right jt let's go ahead and move it back and we'll lock the front end all right so when you're putting it back up you have to make sure that these rollers hit these slots All right. Now we're gonna lock the front back in place. It's just reverse. You pull that, the uh, lever and the air locks it back in place. Next step to this is you have to get up and you have to unlock these two uh, retaining locks up here in the front. All right, basically. Well, let me get up. Oh. Yeah, you can just you can do it. Probably do it from here. <clears throat> Basically, pull the cable. It unlatches it on each side. Now you're ready to uh, push the curtain system back to the rear of the trailer. You can do this from the deck or up on the trailer or from the ground. Okay, you basically you pull this back until that lug is on the back side of the uh, the locking lug, and you just reverse the order that we undid it. You pull it all the way back till it till it the roller connects to the stop right here, and that gives you an indication that your tarp is is uh, fully to the rearmost position and that it's tight. And that's one of the, the main goals to uh, uh, the longevity of these tarping systems is keeping good tension on your tarp. Okay, now you put your handle back in its proper position. And we put our rear flat back in place. And you'll notice that there's Velcro on both sides of that flap. And obviously this trailer has had some use to it. So you just want to make sure that you have the flap back in place and the Velcro is as good as you can get it. And this bar here fits right inside there and that holds it in place. All right, then you come back over make sure you got it as good as you can get it with your flap you put your hook ends out so they don't tear the tarp you relatch everything everything's nice and tight 
Okay, so the main thing it with any curtain side you're pulling is that everything's as tight as it can be. Because the customer's paying for a load to be delivered and delivered not wet. So that's our goal is to keep all the uh, road elements off the cargo that we can. All right, so next we go and put our uh, rod back in its, its holder. Put the, the latch back down so it don't come out going down the road. And we hook our flaps back up. Okay, thanks JT for that demonstration. That is all there is to operating the LCS load covering system. Thank you.